up YouTube so uh, this is the only time I ever get to be able to record is when I'm driving going to and from places because I'm never at home whenever it's light anymore and so this is the best lighting I've got on the way to church and um, got a little bit of a drive not nothing crazy but enough to make a video here real quick talk about something I've been wanting to talk about for almost a month and I've got the UPS guy we got a single lane road here in West Virginia and you get two bigger trucks on the same road and it gets a little dicey here so but on to the good stuff if it gets dark I'm sorry it is what it is um, so December 16th I think it was um, if you've watched this channel at all you've seen the Jingle Bells no prep and so we went down um, never been to Newport Tennessee not for that anyways we have went the back way into Gatlinburg before and things like that but we went to the English Mountain Dragway and uh, never been there didn't you know I think we had driven by it and I looked it up one time and um, it's probably been three or four years ago so what happened um, is and I'll just talk a little bit about the history of the track and why I personally believe this is probably one of the most OG true no prep deals I've ever been to um, which is pretty cool uh, you know because most of it started with you know King of the Streets in Chicago and your King of the Concrete stuff back of the track at Thunder Valley a lot of the a lot of the Midwest guys really started no prep which was to give street racers a chance to drive you know to run at the track um and simulate street racing that that's really where that came from is you you know you pull up to a spot you do a puddle burnout and you line up against your friend you let her go or whatever you know your arch rival whatever so uh, I know the one person that I've talked to, the main guy that I've talked to, is Josh Ottinger. Otting, Ottinger. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, Josh. So I apologize. I've just always called him Josh. And he, uh, he I, I got the lowdown from him, and was like, "What's up, man? What, what is this? What's this deal about? Like, how, how is it the way it is?" And, and if, if you watched it, you'll see the track closed about. I think it was four or five years ago and Josh and a couple friends approached the owner and they pretty much are purchasing the track from them which is a bunch of guys that street race normal everyday guys are getting to purchase a drag strip you know it hasn't had a tractor down it it hasn't had a scraper it hasn't had anything it has had the weather and it has had some brooms and you know some cold patch up top to fix some of the holes so that's that's it that's all this track has had and when I talked to him I was like well what's the scoop he told me about the you know that they they decided they wanted a place that people go they didn't have you know if they if they need to settle their differences and could find a good spot that's where they could take it you know they're gonna try to do some some no prep stuff and uh, because it really is they don't plan on ever having track prep ever ever they they do puddle burnout only you know bring what you got and that's it what you pull through the line that that's that's it to me that is the essence of no prep there is no preparation not no scraping you know if somebody oils down they they're not going out and and dragging the track they're they're not doing anything it is what you see is what you get and i think that that is just just the essence of a no prep style situation because it is almost concrete now it is the same you know just like the street you you make some good passes you get a few good burnouts some big tire cars get up there and you get a good patch laid down you know there are people going wheels up it's no big deal for people to go pretty fast on that track um is it sketchy it can be um, up top there's some bumps and some different things but you know it, what what place are you gonna get that doesn't so 
you know, we went there um, not knowing what we were going to get, and it just, I, it blew me away. I really enjoyed it. Um, very old school, um, you know, track track officials josh and and the lineup guys because i mean they don't have they don't have trees they, they don't have a timing tree they don't have lights up top they got somebody with a camera they got somebody saying hey they won and sometimes they don't have that they have that whenever it's you know your real your real racing and whatnot your your classes so uh, man i i had a great time you know only critique and i know that i've already talked with josh about it and he knows it he talked to me about it actually is you know they're going to try to get um, a little bit more organized with their racing and different things like that which i mean i'm pretty sure there's only been like they've only had it since like i think august or october or it was in the fall sometime the first first event they put on they had like eight nine hundred people that's awesome i mean that is and what it is is people want to see that stuff they want to see your true street style stuff you know a lot of people aren't going to go or they aren't in the loop that are going to be able to go out and watch street racing because that you know it's very popular now but it's no big deal to go down to the local drag strip you know drive an hour two hours if you live in knoxville down there it's not very far drive and go watch two guys instead of hitting it at the street you know they grudge race at the track so it's a pretty neat situation pretty neat deal that uh, you know racers are getting a racetrack you know it seems like and I know a lot of people that own drag strips are drag racers themselves I, and I, I know that but a lot of times they're not a lot of times <clears throat> they're owned by your bigger you know we got one that's owned by a dealership and honestly if it wasn't for the management the management there do what they can but other than that there's no you know they're they're not really for your everyday people they're they're going for money and and you know josh and his group of friends which i don't know who they are um i didn't really ask i didn't want to seem like a weirdo asking 300 questions to a guy and you know maybe maybe i get him on here and do an interview with him sometime we're gonna have some bad lighting guys it is what it is i look fat anyways but um like to talk to him a little bit more about it i know we're gonna go back as soon as we can um as soon as they you know have something that we can race in that we feel like we can be competitive hey we can use that um but you know it's it's a great little track they got you know they had wood barrels set up where because it was cold it got down to like 27 degrees and it was cold down there you know it's been cold here it's been extremely warm today thank god 55 degrees but um down there it was cold when that was going on and if they wouldn't have had those wood barrels you know it was there was huddles of people everywhere where the the uh the fires were which is you know super old school i never went to a track and came back home and smelled like a campfire so i love camping I love a campfire and uh, that was a pretty pretty neat thing to go on um, they've got you know some old school bleachers they I think they've built some bleachers there but they've got some old like concrete bleachers and uh, I just I love the way the track looks it just it looks like a street it looks fun um, all the way around man you know had and you know this area that we're in here local you can't get people to race for money you know it's just not it's unheard of um grudge racing is not really big up here in north not not at the two tracks that we've got at least you know you don't see people betting a lot of money and i saw a stanced i don't know if we want to call it that like i don't know if it was a subaru or the toyota whatever the brz or whatever it is saw it and a honda hatch run for a hundred they both stuck a hundred dollars out to the line guy to hold the money and i was like that is the that is the most you know uh real deal thing i've ever seen it was just so old school to see people you know there was a thousand dollar grudge race um i didn't see money exchange hands there but there was a thousand dollar grudge race between an a body and g body i posted that video um two beautiful cars and that Chevelle was just, I, I love, I love that model. And he just had some nice stuff done to it. 
but um, yeah, you know, English Mountain Dragway, Newport, Tennessee, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, we will definitely be back there. It's about a three hour drive for us or so, but it's straight down, it's straight down the interstate, right off the exit and you make it right and you're there that's that's it it's really not that big of a deal and uh i can't wait uh to go back there and just see it's also cool when you go to a different track like that you get to see a lot of different cars um you know the i got drugged by turbo ls fox body uh flocka was there you know you, know, you had some some cool racing going on uh duramax powered f100 i don't know if i got any videos of it but that thing is flat nasty. I don't know how fast it was, but I know that it was launching like crazy. You know, cutting some 60 foot sets for sure. It's all wheel drive. So, um, but yeah, it was just a it was just a great all around time. I'm not gonna bore you with you know me rambling on and on, but uh, that's all I was gonna say. That you know, for me, so far, especially in 2017, the most OG original to the dot no prep track because they don't even have to work at it you know they don't have to scrape you know some people don't view that as no prep um they don't have to do anything it's just there you just i mean it's just as if you pulled up on some concrete street somewhere so i i personally think that it is the coolest most og no prep track um probably on the east coast i mean really you know I don't see it getting any more original than that. They don't even have a tractor to prep with. There's no prepped races that they're they're holding. So that's just cool. So I'm done with it. I'm done with today. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all those things. Got a new video. I'm gonna record. Uh, got some. Had somebody call me um, that I made a video about, and um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and uh got to talk to somebody who who has pretty much hit the i don't know i wouldn't say lottery but he's he has really came into some small time fame but you know it's it's big for somebody who's not um expecting it um channel goes from 17 subscribers to 24,000 in less than four months so that's pretty big deal so uh if you want to hear about something if you want to see some certain video about something um, comment below. That's about it. That's all I'm going to say. Peace out, Girl Scout.